you go. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Have a great vacation. Woo! Hello and good morning everyone. Good morning. Welcome back. From another day here in paradise. We are up and going this morning. We've got a mermaid in the swimming pool with her brother Brexy. We got kids jumping off of the canal dock back there. We've got a full day of fun in the sun here at the house today. I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna swim in this pool. All day long. And then I think we're gonna grab these paddle boards, these kayaks, go explore these canals. That would be so fun. Maybe we I think we're close enough we could head all the way out into the ocean. They check told us out some about of the beaches. a really cool spot yesterday that we could get to. We might try and Mangrove do that. K's or Keys, I never know how to say it. I believe I it's know. appropriately pronounced Keys. Keys, mangrove keys, where you can do so much fun paddleboarding and exploring. So a full day of fun on tap here at the house, the pool, the beaches, just enjoying life here in Turks and Caicos. A fun little dinner planned out here. It'll be fun to just enjoy the entire Barbecuing day. Barbecuing poolside. I mean, it Trying doesn't get it better than that. And after Hazy's birthday yesterday, first of all, thank you guys for all of the love for oh, Hazy yesterday. So, awesome. so many birthday wishes just flooding in for our sweet princess. It's been so fun to celebrate her here on this island, and we still have another birthday yet on this trip yes, to celebrate. We do. We've got Cruz's birthday coming up on the last day of the trip. Hazy's on the first day, bookending this amazing vacation with birthdays. Can't think of a better way to go. Oh, this has been absolutely amazing. I don't think we can even decide, guys, what we like better. If we like the pool or the canal back there. Both have their elements of fun that we really enjoy. I think these little ones love the pool. What I love is getting in the canal. Very salty, the water here, very salty, which makes it buoyant. You can float super easily. Then you get out of there, you come jump in the pool, get a fresh clean off, and then just go back and forth. And that's what we're gonna be doing today, back and forth between the two. I did not see that coming. Oh my gosh. Are we running or just kind of walking so nobody falls? This is the practice, the practice. You practice like you play in the games, Maddie. Oh, Maddie. <laughs> there goes the championship. Now sometimes you see a really cool shot on Instagram or YouTube somewhere and you wonder, I wonder how that came together. Did they just run and jump off the dock, full send, make that incredible piece of content? I'm here to tell you no. The fact is this took us 25 minutes, three different practice runs, seven cameras, and I think we're gonna get it on this one. Are you guys ready to do this? Are we ready to send it on a Sunday in Turks and Caicos, baby? Let's go! Banger, dude. I heard the pool for a little bit. Been doing some fun dock jumps, but I spotted a mermaid in our swimming pool earlier today. I think if you go underwater and wait long enough, you might see the mermaid swim by. I'm gonna go see if I can catch this mermaid on camera. Nothing like a poolside lunch. Look at this, fully catered by Mindy, Michelle, Maddie, and apparently Ragai. You just going to grab the Ragai chips at the last second. <laughs> Ragai just smelled food and he went running. It is kind of funny how every time you make food, kids just randomly show up. I love it. I love it. that's how we keep kids at our house and the entertainment at our place because you got to have the food, the snacks. But guys, get any cooler than this. We are poolside right now, eating these delicious sandwiches. Oh wait, I thought those are chips. That's pineapple and strawberries, freshly cut. The food that we bought, this is pretty much the rest of it besides oh, hot dogs. So it's time. 
to go grocery so we shopping. Get to go. Then... But lucky for us, we have a chef coming here tonight to cook us a full Caribbean spread meal. Mama gets a break? He said that he cooked for the neighbors over there before. Said I'd be happy to come do it for you. Just let me know what you want. He's going to come use our barbecue tonight and he's going to be cooking us some shrimp skewers. Jerk chicken. Jerk chicken. Uh, yeah, salad. Yeah. Garlic bread. He's got a full thing that he likes and to do. And a really fun dessert. And apparently the dessert is a surprise and it is outrageously good. I've seen it. I think the mermaid's maybe going to take a quick break from her swim and we're going to take a quick break and eat some yummy lunch poolside. Hey, we just heard the baby's hanging out here with us in Turks and Caicos on one of these canals. The baby, if you can hear your jam, jamming, come hang with your boy. I'm not putting it. I'm not putting this in there. <laughs> sailboat, sailboat, get out of the water, out of the water. All hands up and then you go to your side. It was at this moment that he knew. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I've been practicing all day. Thank you. <laughs> He's got some cannonball splash. Bro, that cannonball was record breaking, dude. That splash was next level. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You guys are very bad at fake drowning. <laughs> we learned you the silly salmon. Oh, yes. We're just having fun entertaining the different boats that come through. Any of the tours or sailing adventures, whatever, they always come through these canals as part of the tour. We know because we went on one. They picked us up here, and then we kind of drove the canals before we got started. But they've been going through all day. So each time they come by, we do something different for the boats. We've been doing flips. We just did a synchronized dive. We're going with the silly salmon on this one, you guys. Silly salmon for this ship coming up right now. Two, one, go. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Have a great vacation. Woo! That's part of the tour. They're going to now expect that every tour. They're going to be like, where's those synchronized silly salmoners? What we want to do is get into a battle of sharks and minnows with these guys across the street. I keep saying the street. Across the canal. They seem really fun. They were out last night dancing when ships came by. So they seem like they're down for some fun. But if you have never played sharks and minnows in a swimming pool before, you have players line up on both sides. Someone's in the middle. And then you've got to make it to the other side without being tagged. As you get tagged, you add more sharks to the mix until all the minnows are gone. I think that would be a blast between two houses across a canal. We just haven't seen them today, so I don't know if they're down for it. So instead, we're just jumping off there, Doc. I have never even seen rain like this, let alone run in it, let alone run and jump into a canal in it. This is next level rain. This is a tropical storm, a tropical paradise. The fun doesn't stop for anything. Look at these guys already out here. Who's ready to extend it? It is so cool. So cool. And they just like end immediately after they start. It's like a five minute rainstorm. I'm glad I got one. We've been having these kind of like weathery, I don't know what you call them. They're not storms. It's like it rains for 35 seconds and then it's bright and sunny like this again. Then it rains for 40 seconds, then it's bright and sunny like this again. So we've been kind of going in and out of those. We've had five or six of them pass by. We wanted a big enough break in the cloud cover that we could get out on the paddle boards, the kayaks, go explore these canals, take the drone, maybe get some sick footage that way without getting dumped on while we're out there. So I think it feels like we've got enough of a break right now. All I see is blue skies, sunny skies, beautiful white puffy clouds, aqua blue ocean water calling our name. So I think it's time to grab the paddle boards, the kayaks, and get out there and explore. What is this dockside pickup service from Brex and Bingham? That's what I'm talking about, unless Maddie gets in the way. <laughs> All 
All right, it's pretty windy. I don't know if you came in here. We were parking the kayak. The wind was pushing us way too hard back the other way. And we're gonna make a walk for it on this sandbar. We've got nice shallow sand all the way out to a dock. We can maybe jump off over here. I think we're gonna have to save the mangrove key kayaking and paddleboarding adventure for a calmer water day. Today, you need a motor strapped to the back of that thing to get out there. Brandon, Michelle, all the kids, Daniel, Maddie, everyone. Everyone's out there in the canal on the kayaks and paddle boards having some fun. Paisley was really tired. When you just get so tired, nothing makes sense. She didn't know what she wanted. She wanted to go. She didn't want to go. She was hungry. She wanted to nap. When they just get overtired, I mean, we started this trip on like no sleep. We caught up one night. We had pretty great sleep last night. I decided to stay back with Hazy, let her take a nap. She's in there napping. They're outside having fun, getting some great footage. Michelle's got her camera, so hopefully they're producing some amazing pictures. I'm here. Actually, I'm kind of cleaning up. It's actually a great opportunity for me to clean up because as Brandon told you earlier, yesterday when we were on our fun adventure with the snorkeling guys, one of them said that he is a chef by night. So we decided to have him come to our home and make us a meal, which is really nice because we are going through our food so fast. Groceries here are very expensive. So we need to go to the grocery store again, actually. We have stuff for hot dogs, which is what we thought maybe we could have tonight, but we're going to save those for dinner tomorrow. Tonight, they're going to come in and make us a meal. So that'll be really fun. We're really looking forward to it. I'm just cleaning up here. Hazy's napping. Looking forward and getting ready for a really fun night. The uh, ride back should be a breeze, literally, the wind kicking up so hard. We can just kind of coast back in. I think it's just about 30 minutes before our chef is arriving for the night. We're very excited to see what he has prepared for us. A very authentic Caribbean meal going down in our own backyard. Hopefully the sun stays out. We can have a blast poolside with a delicious home-cooked meal from Chef John. Uh, Brexton, just up here on the left, please. My drop-off spot. Oh, crap, we're doing a 360. Saving it. If you could just pull me up right to the dock, Rondi. Thank you. To the stairs would be perfect, actually. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. We're back at the house now, sun is blazing. I love how everything here is white, so it just bounces off and blinds you. I feel like I need to do sunglasses though, because I am getting like a headache from the squinting. We are here, chilling at the house, waiting for Chef John to arrive. Captain John is going to become Chef John. Yesterday, while we were out on our snorkeling adventure, Captain John told us that on the side, he dabbles in chefery, yeah. culinary arts. He had cooked for someone across the way. So he had so offered his services to us if we so desired, and we said, you know what, dude, we want to try what you've got. He showed us some pictures, it looked uh, mouth-watering. It looked amazing. Between the meal and the dessert, that he provides, we thought we want to do it. Come to our place, cook for us, show us how it's done. So he's on his way here now. I think he should be here in a few minutes. We're just gonna get ready to have like an all night fun pool night. The kids uh, wanted to do some like late night swims. But I think all the adults are kind of wearing down. I'm exhausted. I, know, I think I know. Dan and Shell and are wearing seems down. Seems like that was maybe a little bit of an excursion out there. Yeah, we hit some wind. They're pushing us <laughs> back with something that I think is amazing. We must be protected from that because as soon as we rounded the corner and came back here, no wind here at all. So it must just be right as you leave this area, go down the canal. So very grateful for that that we don't have to fight those winds here. Right now we just got sun. Beautiful skies, nice light breeze. Here. Chef John on his way. Oh, we got Chef John in the house! Woo! Let's go, Chef John! That's what I'm talking about, baby. Let's go! He knows his way around the kitchen. What's up? All right, guys, we've got Chef John in the house. I'm out here firing up the grill. He's got the shrimp coming out. We've been doing some shrimp skewers for us tonight, some jerk chicken, some of his famous specialties. We've got corn on the cob. We've got potatoes going in there, and we all cannot wait for his special secret signature dessert, Chef John. Captain John becomes Chef John tonight, giving us our own personal, private chef, home-cooked Caribbean meal. It smells amazing already. He's got potatoes boiling. All the spices and scents are starting to flow through the house. We're getting mm, just drooly, our mouths watering. The grill is heating up. Shrimp will be out here in a minute. I think we're all kind of just taking a break from the sun, the water, everything today has been a very long day out here in the pool, playing in the canal. So we're just enjoying sitting inside, doing a little bit of editing. The kids are watching YouTube, just letting Chef John do his thing.
some jerk chicken. Oh, yes. So this jerk chicken be marinated from yesterday. Oh, are you yeah. serious? Oh my yeah, gosh, right. dude, you came prepared. You got to. Oh, that's gonna be so good. Then the legendary dessert we've heard about. We don't know a lot about it. This is a top secret dessert. It's kind of like a banana s'more, or what do we got here? Sorry, it's a banana boat. The banana boat? Way better than the sunscreen. Chef John killing it inside and outside. He knows his way around that kitchen and he's never been in there that I know of. Killing it on the grill as well. We got jerk chicken shrimp skewers going. He's making his world famous banana boat stuffed with chocolate and marshmallow. We're coming out here dockside just taking one of the most gorgeous breathtaking sunsets we have ever seen. Bye. That was crew in his pajamas after showering. But the party doesn't stop here at the Bingham House in Turks and Caicos. We are watching sun dip into the blue ocean. Oh my gosh, you guys, it does not get more scenic or picturesque than that. In fact, I'm gonna let Dan and Shell vlog so they can capture that moment. And I'm gonna step aside. Go ahead, guys. Awesome, <laughs> Kids just out here enjoying a night swimming to finish off the day. I can't believe they've even got the energy to get back in this pool. We've been in it all day, jumping off that dock all day. Chef John pulling the skewers, chicken, everything off the grill. I think it's time to feast. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Chef John's still working hard on dessert in the house right now, but the meal is served. So far, guys, what do you think of it? Oh my God. <laughs> we've got the shrimp skewers, we've got the jerk chicken, we've got corn on the cob, an amazing salad, we've got spicy and original jerk chicken, we've got garlic bread, everything you could want in a delicious Caribbean meal, guys. And Chef John so far living up to the hype and then some. Oh. 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 boy, Brexy Doodle! Yeah, Midnight dog jump complete. We had the most amazing meal from that Chef John. So good, and what was so good about it is we didn't have to cook it. I'm rating it five stars out of five stars. It was yeah. incredible, thank you for that. I'm so glad we ran into him on our snorkel adventure to have him come here and cook us that meal. Yeah. So good, but guys, come back tomorrow. We gotta get everyone into bed because we have our probably biggest, longest, fullest day tomorrow. We're gonna be gone for eight hours exploring the Southern Caicos Islands. I'm We're gonna so be doing excited. cave exploring, cliff jumping, snorkeling, everything. We have a fully catered meal aboard a sport yacht. You do not wanna miss tomorrow's vlog. We love you so much. Thanks for all of the love and support that we have felt here. It seems like you guys are loving us traveling as much as we are loving it. Our favorite thing is taking you with us. We love you. We'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.